So, good morning chaps. Just going to let the, uh, the ladies out. As you can see, we're getting a bit of the white stuff. We had, we've had some more week, it keeps snowing and then melting. And snowing and melting, we might get a bit more today. Let's see what they've got for us. I'm being really amazed at these guys. We've had three eggs a day almost every day I'm going to do the 40 questions but I thought I'd bring you hello ladies where are you going? you want to go out? go on that way yeah yeah there you go chicken's eye view got for us? Who slept in there? Well, there's only one egg this morning. Wrong door girls, come on. So, just the one this morning, but we tend to get a couple in the afternoon. That's them sorted. I suppose I better do 40 questions now. Hiya folks. Well, the 40 questions. Ryan, a little dirt, never hurt, uh, nominated me. I'd see it's been around and done the rounds. So I thought I'd uh, do the 40 questions this morning. If I keep looking at this way, I'm reading the questions. <laughs> Number one, do I like blue cheese? I love blue cheese. I absolutely adore Stilton. I have found a place where I can buy it here and I have some in the fridge right now. Now, here's a funny thing about Stilton. If you've ever seen the Christmas Carol and Scrooge wakes up thinking the cheese gives him dreams, if you eat Stilton on an evening, you will have very, well, let me say, I don't remember dreams very often, but if I eat Stilton on an evening, I will remember the dreams I have in the morning. I don't know whether it's something to do with the uh, the mould that's in it, but, but I love it. It's very nice. Number two, Coco Pepsi. Uh, I have tried both. There's far better things to drink than Coco Pepsi. Here's water. Here's my morning coffee. That answers another question. Uh, um, am I in a relationship? Yes, I'm married. I have a lovely wife, 14 years, Suzanne. Whiskey, tequila or vodka? Uh, out of them it would be whiskey. Uh, aged whiskey. I'm not going to do names or anything like that, but yeah, whiskey. Although I do like rum. I know a couple of other people have mentioned the rum. And uh, yes, I like rum. Again, uh, I think it was Willie who said the dark and dirty stuff, Captain Morgan's. Although it does hurt my elbows. <laughs> I fell off a stool after drinking Captain Morgan's and chipped a bone in my elbow. <laughs> oh, those were the days. What are you doing? You burned all the food, the shade. The rum? Yes, the rum is gone. Why is the rum gone? One, because it is a vile drink that turns even the most respectable men into complete scoundrels. Hot dogs or cheeseburger? Yeah, mm, I like cheeseburgers if it's a good burger. Um, I don't like McDonald's, but if it's like a proper real burger, <laughs> then I'll eat. Um, I'll, I like hot dogs too if it's proper again, with, with you know, proper onions, mustard. Yeah, good. I like both. There's not a preference. What is my favourite food? 
Mm, that's an odd one. I like all sorts of food. Um, <laughs> that's really odd to say, to be honest. Anything I've grown myself <laughs> with Stilton. <laughs> <laughs> What do I drink in the morning? Uh, well, here's a coffee. It's morning. I like coffee. I drink tea. I drink coffee. I drink both, but again, both. I never used to drink uh, coffee at all, really, in the UK, but it were all that powdered stuff, and I don't like that. This is ground and different. Uh, oh, another thing about that, I drink coffee and tea with no milk or sugar. Um, I got into that, I lived in Greece, and I used to drink tea. And um, where I were, the only milk you could get was goat's milk. <laughs> no, doesn't go well in tea, so I never drunk milk in tea ever again since that. Can I do 100 push-ups? No, not now. I probably, I could have at one time, but not now, not in a row. <laughs> in small groups, I probably can. Favorite season of the year? Definitely, yeah, to spring, early summer. Lots going on, lots growing, lots to look forward to. Favourite hobby? I have lots of hobby. Hobbies. I play music, harmonica, guitar. Not fantastic, but yeah, alright. Uh, I like gold prospecting, gardening. Lots of hobbies, really. Wood carving. He's upside down. <laughs> Wood carving. <laughs> so lots of hobbies. So I ain't got really a favourite one. Depends at the time of the year and the mood I'm in. Any tattoos? Yes. Four. I have a couple of bands and one I designed myself up here. And I have um, a sea turtle on my back. A small one. Which is just uh, a sign of a traveller because I've travelled. Wear glasses. Yes, uh, used to for reading, but I'm I'm partially sighted in my right eye. I've only got fifty percent vision in in one eye anyway, and now uh, the left eye is gone to old man reading glasses level anyway. <laughs> Phobias, uh, not that I can think of. <laughs> A lot of things are scary in the world right now, but I don't think I've got anything in particular that I'm absolutely terrified of. I work. I've worked at heights. But I don't like working at heights if there's no barriers. I don't like standing on the edge of a building. Is that a phobia? <laughs> or is that just self-preservation? Nicknames. Davey uh, is one, but when I were a kid, uh, my cousins used to call me Spud <laughs> because my middle, my middle name's Edwards. So King Edwards Potatoes, Spud. Favourite candy? I don't eat a lot of sweet stuff, but I used to like um, Cadbury's fruit and nut or rum and raisin. But now Cadbury's have sold out. They changed the recipe, made the bar smaller and upped the price, and now it's not as good, so I don't bother at all. Do I believe in ghosts? I don't know. Um, I've got an open mind, but ghosts I'm not sure about. Biggest downfall... I say what I think, and I think what I bloody well say, which can upset some people sometimes. Uh, I'm not afraid of having an opinion. <laughs> so, and if you don't like that, give it a thumbs down. Um, rain or snow? I like proper snow. I do like proper snow when, like, if it's like minus five and it's snow and it's dry. If it's snowing like it is now this morning, which is like about one or my, uh, minus one or null, it's just wet, cold and nasty. But snow, if it's proper. Any piercings? Yes, I've. when I was younger I had both my ears pierced. <laughs> um, did them myself because it was in fashion. I could probably still get them through. Um, but I went on a stag night in um, Blackpool in England with some mates and we got out and got extremely drunk and come into conversation to um, Phil Oakley from the Human League went to my school and he had a nipple piercing 
and they're all on about that I, I think and we had a, a bet and a day and I lost and won and I had to have my nipple pierced now this were like a I think it was Saturday morning in Blackpool with an extreme hangover all my mates dragged me down to this tattoo place and piercing parlour and I got my nipple pierced and that was quite an experience that's um, yeah <laughs> sat there so I went green and sat there with cold flannel on the back of my neck but yes piercings I don't have that anymore age I am 51 now uh, and we'll be 52 on the 28th of this month french fries or onion rings oh, good onion rings I, I like onions uh, yeah french fries Tuh. I like chips french fries any kids yes four <laughs> I've given up on that now yes four three under the age of uh, 13 and one at 23 favourite colour is well yeah blue I'm a Sheffield Wednesday fan <laughs> I might be the only one in the world now but yeah blue <laughs> can I sing I try but probably not some stuff I can sing a little bit but I'm not exactly a great warbler can I whistle <whistles> yeah I can whistle where was I born I was born in Sheffield made in Sheffield any siblings nope no brothers or sisters no can I cook yeah a little bit sometimes when I have to I've actually worked in a kitchen and cooked in a <laughs> kitchen so yeah kind of a little bit but it depends what it is I've got, you have to know it before you can cook it you've got to cook it at least once before you know it you know what I mean can I swim yes um, I've done half mile I, I've, I float more than swim now but I don't go swimming very often I've also got perforated eardrum which is a pain in the backside if you get water in it religious it's an odd one because I hope there's a God but I look at the world with stuff that's going on and everybody doing whatever in God's name and whichever God well, it's all one God isn't it but they all say well this is what this one my book says and that's what my book says and it just gets on me nerves in the end so I don't bother in reality I'm a Christian my kids go up to church and do some activities in church my wife's quite religious my, but I just hope there's a God shower or bath shower the bath's not big enough to lay down in, in this house. I didn't put a big bath in. I put a. It's not a small bath, but it's big enough for, for kids. But if I get in it, it's not. It's not like I can lay in it. So I'd have a shower anyway. Big city or nature? <laughs> nature every time. Every time. Countryside. Nature every time. Am I a good friend? I'm a faithful friend. If you, I'm spot on. But like I say, if. It, that works both ways you know any broken bones or lots broken fingers broken toes broke smashed my knee up playing football years ago broke it backwards still having problems with that now looking at might have to have a knee replacing at my age uh broke broke my shin broken nose yeah broken ribs yeah lots of broken bones how many tvs do we have two one in the living room and one that I use as a monitor here. Uh, we have other monitors in the house, but not TVs, per se. Worst pain? Yeah. <laughs> There's a few things on that. There was the nipple, which was more sick. I felt sick with it than that. When I smashed my knee, that was probably the worst and longest prolonged pain. But another pain I had was a kickback off a... Uh, uh, table saw. I'll put, I'll, I'll put a clip in the in the there or there. There's a little thing about that. And I had a kickback, and it spun a piece of five millimeter board off the table saw, and it hit me in the um, <laughs> the man parts, just the one. And 
I can honestly say for the shortest time that was the worst pain I thought I was going to I wanted to die. <laughs> uh, if there was if there is a god I asked him to take me in that point I was rolling about in sawdust for about three hours well three hours 30 minutes 20 minutes you know and then I sort of hobbled into the house and showed my wife my swollen bits and I had to go to hospital and have them squeezed and that wasn't pleasant but I was walking like John Wayne for over a week so that was the knee I would say the knee but the the nut shot was uh, a killer do I like to dance? Uh, I used to. No opportunities there. I might have a dance in here if I get a good tune on. It's, it's not been unknown. Alone. <laughs> Is that very sad? <laughs> Probably. Do I like camping? Yeah. I like hammock camping. I like camping. Go camping with, well, we have been camping with kids. We haven't been for a couple of years, but yeah, camping's all right. Am I weird? Just from the neck up, probably, but I suppose a, a little bit. Do a YouTube channel talk crap, don't I? So, come on, I'm a little bit weird. Everybody's a little bit weird in their own special way. Let's put it that way. And number 40, now pick six people. No, I'm not going to pick anybody. If anybody's seen this and they want to do it, do it. Say, I recommended that you did it or not. But that's my 40 questions. Um, yeah, drop a comment in. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't really matter. But I'd like to give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment in. And don't forget, it's always nice to be nice. Cheers. <laughs>